Hello and welcome to live candle pin bowling from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. As you can see, we're not on lane 10 like we usually are. We're on lane 7. Apparently it's very busy today in spite of a giant Halloween festivity blocking off pretty much downtown. So, lane 7 instead of the usual. Hello, Tom. So, let's see how things... for my top. All right, let's see how things go. Oh, there was no bowling last week because I was shooting stuff in most of Starting off with a fa fantastic four. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see if it can right the ship. Welcome to Putnam Street. A really craptacular ball. Putnam Street actually made it a seven. Masons. because it's a pain to take the camera on, on and off the stand. I'll recite the half, which is next frame, and show you the grand total.
Here's the halftime. A lovely four, then a spare, then a nine. First ball knocking down seven for the fill. Then again, a lovely four, and then a nine. We're at a okay 43. Hello, Ben. So, under ICBA, under ICBA records of casual league bowlers, average skill is anywhere from 80 to 110. So if we hit 80, good enough. I'm assuming other people are not having trouble because somebody watched it. Anyway, let's see what happens. The game is sinking with a six. Still possible to eke it in. Just stayed on. The wood gave me the 710. Holy crap. Converts the lousy, pathetic 710 for a spare. Almost went exactly where I aimed, too. Now, Stinko, the bonus ball time. Let's see what this one does for us. El Strico. Oh, this garbage game suddenly turned good. Two El Stinko the bonus balls. And yes, here I have double strike quite a few times. Street action for a nine foot. Oh, hello, Eliza. Apparently, people are seeing this because someone said they weren't. So they're clapping. They must have saw it. YouTube is finicky like that.
and a nine. Hey, not a bad first game. In fact, more than just not a bad first game. Sucked, sucked, sucked. Imagine how much higher than 105 that could have been. Seems the internet here is kind of skipping a little bit. All right, now we got to. I got to see what the winning number is. If I got an 86, I would have won a free game, but I'd rather the 105. Game number two. Street action. <laughs> well, it's a better start than the last game. That's a seven. shot for the spare. It means it's now time for El Stinko the bonus ball, not brought to you by Epco Urethane Pro Line, the only thing professional you're seeing in this video. And let's see what El Stinko gives us. El Stinko lives up to its name for two. Now if that were going to be a spare, that would have been dumb luck. Here's the halftime. Seven, spare, 
10. Unfortunately, the first ball only knocked down two. And a pair of nines for a 47. All right, Ben, good, good to hear you got video. Like I was saying to the other people, YouTube is kind of weird. Like I watch another guy's live stream and when he drops out and comes back, sometimes I actually have to refresh my computer instead of it just picking up like it should. All right, decent app. Let's see what we do now. Again for nine. And nine to okay. Probably because I should hit the. I'm used to pressing the buttons on the right hand side because these uh, the scoring tables is set on the left for the odd number lanes and right for the right. I'm used to being on ten or an even lane, so I'm pushing the nine on the for lane eight. I suck at bowling. Street again saves a crap ball for you. close on camera, but no. Oh. And that's the first it was ball two moment for today. went in the middle there on the right. It's good that it didn't knock down the five. That could help us. Especially when you do that. Once again, it's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. We're in this situation in the previous game. Let's see what this one gives us. The dreaded leave gets slightly better. El Stinko stinks for the leave with six.
And we end with eight. Oh, so close, so close. Did not make it. Not the best start. Crap fell. 98. see if we win a free game and if we do we'll let you see it oh if the matching number was three and a higher would have won a free game but 95 ain't 98 so game number three so far we're looking at a 300 plus triple All right, everyone, say hi to Bob Kaliri. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Welcome to Mason's. Finally, a decent start. Niner. There it is, everybody. There it is. What everyone was waiting for. This is why when you hear people say, aim for the center, it's a bad idea. A craptacular spread eagle did me in. can help us. Oh, there it goes. Once again, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Not being brought to you by Epco Urethane Pro Line, because it's the only thing professional you're seeing today on this channel. Let's see what El Stinko does. El Stinko stinks for the lead big time, but Putnam Street action got us a seven.
and a seven. Well, can kiss the 300 goodbye. Anyway, half time, nine, lovely four, then a spare, then an eight. First ball knocking down seven of them, and then a seven for 45. Hello, Jonathan. So glad you do what you do. Please keep me sane and happy during the COVIDs. And you love the COVID lanes thing. Alrighty. Yeah, the closest thing out west is a place you have to rent out for 150 bucks a day, I think it is. And that would be Cincinnati Club near Cincinnati. Next closest out west is Apex in, in Albany, New York. Yes, the same Apex that's in Marlboro. They branched out and they actually wanted to bring Candlepin there. Apparently, it did well enough at the Marlboro location. They wanted to bring it there, too. Otherwise, it's mostly New England and the uh, Nova Scotia province of Canada. And I'm not sure about a bar in Virginia that has a lane. And I don't think it's a full one either. Anyway, let's continue. That's going to help a little. That would be a strike. And two, I'll sneak on the bonus ball. Double striked before. Let's see what happens. Time. A little weak for a strike, Phil, but overall, seven ain't bad. We had another chance at two Alstinkos. By the way, I, unlike lane 10, there's no real, or five, or four, where there's this uh, empty spot here. There's nowhere good to put the camera, so if it's bouncing and jiggling, it's because it has to be on the it has to be on the uh, approach deck. All right, let's see what happens now. Can we get a double? Don't this look familiar? How should you bet it'll come out with the worst outcome? outcome. Seven again on a strike. Let's see what happens. And curse of the fill. Seven. I can get it to be safe if I can get five points, we've made the 300 triple at least. Yeah. 
unfortunately hidden away in the system operators menu is where we can find out what all the scores have been so far. 98 and 2, 100 something and 1. So, This ain't going well. Nice. Yeah, a stink frame of three. Well, you know what? I think we actually did squeak it in. Obviously sucked. That doesn't help either. That definitely sucked. What well, could have been? I think we might have got a 301. All right, next game. Got to see if it matches. If I got an 80, I wouldn't want a free game. I'll take the 98, please. Game number four. Putnam Street made the spare possible. Normally, not so much. Means it's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will this one add in? El Stinko stunk for the pins. El Strico. <laughs> Means two El Stinko the bonus balls. And I have multiple striked here multiple times. Well, let's see if we can do it again. it again but remember where we are it's somewhat easy to do here oh and one thing to remind you And I hit something because now I see. You disappeared all of a sudden. All right, I want to make this go away. There we go. All right, we had a slight issue there. Anyway. 
Again, two I'll stake on the bonus balls. Uh, how about low, smaller? A little too small, but a little too small. All right, something like that. All right, so now two I'll stink on the bonus balls again. So the first ball is going to finish frame three. That was and by the way, what I was trying to tell you is that in Candlepin, because it's harder, a turkey constitutes any three marks in a row. I have never tripled. Okay, we need to shrink. Not that much. Right, let me just, okay, I just want to see if my head will fit in there. away. All right, so that's the second ball for frame three, and now I'm filling the second one for frame four. So that's a nine. Oh. Couldn't put a piece of paper between the ball and the pin. Nine. Wow. I'm one point away from the highest half time I ever had. So we got a nine. Now we got a spare. Then we got a strike. Then we got another strike. And then we got a nine. That last nine fill made the 19 for the fill three. And that nine is the fill for frame four. Second highest halftime at 86. If I only got a triple. I can up this a hair more. Is this where the collapse happens? Let's hope not. Good game no matter what at this point. I have four frames to get eight points to hit a hundred. Now I'll also get screwed. Either bad breaks or getting screwed or just sucking. Would not have counted anyway. Nine. It's 
slip, but I had enough control to make the spare happen. Which means it's time for El Stink with a bonus ball. Two points will guarantee what I refer to as a, as a Cinderella game, buck 20 or better. We'll take seven. But a not crappy score. Let's see. Six, twelve. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. All right, decent enough. But it's a collapse. Sucked, sucked, sucked. What could have been? Can't argue with one thirty-one. That actually makes me look like I can actually play the game. So there's no need to say we're not going to match the score because it never goes that high. 106 in that game. Game number five. Filled up. And again, they say during the winter, fall, winter months, it fills up pretty easy. Two will stink of the bonus balls. I think these people next to me are actually good at the game, though. Let's see if we can once again double strike. starting to fall out of my hands now. So the strength meant nothing pretty much. There's no ring of juice.
hopefully don't stop her playing near me. Okay, we got the strike in one. Ten and two, unfortunately, Cherry picked only three of them in balls one and two. And then a ten, and then an eight, and then a seven. Doing all right with a 48. stayed on for the eight. comes El Stinko. <laughs> El Stinko stinks for the leaf, but we got seven. Bad. Right in the middle of average skill for casual league bowlers, which I am not. Sucky Phil, suck, suck. 93. Being screwed a lot. Now for the winning number. Well, if I got a pathetic 74, I could have won a free game. Game number six.
great. Seven, seven, rebuildable 39. And down the tubes it goes. The great collapse is starting to occur. Expecting all but the ten. Got the spare though. It was a good shot. I was not expecting a spare out of it. That means the insurance thing, El Stinko. a six. that the kingpin stands alone for nine. This waiting your turn thing is screwing me up now. Gotta get used to that again. Thank you. 
six, the sideways diamond that Dave Madlow says is nearly impossible to get, but I get almost every time. Two frames to get ten. bonus balls. Let's see if we can double strike. That would have been too much to ask. Eight fills on a striker, not bad. Well, this is the low bar. Well, no, this might not be the low bar, but still. Suck, suck, suck. 96. So we bounce back from the 39. If anyone is leaving comments, I want to let you know I'm not intentionally ignoring anyone. The internet flips in and out. If it blips while you send one, I won't see it. Last time I got comments on a bowling show, there were surprisingly way more there. All right, time to start the next game. Let's see what our magic number is. Well, if I got a 76, I would have won a free game. I'll take the 96. Game 7.
distinct frame of four. Game's garbage. Half time. Nine. That's the only good thing that came out of it. Four. No, oh, nine. Seven. Four. Another pair of sevens. Thirty-four. So this game's garbage. No mark, don't matter. Game sucked. Let's 
suck the high heaven. Oh, now it wanted me to do a good game to man. Well, that's the first crap game, number eight. And we're at halftime. Yeah, these people are screwing up. They're not giving me good signals whether or not they're ready. Nine, eight, nine, nine, seven. We're at 42. It's now time for El Stanko Ramones Ball. 
EPCO European Pro Line, the only thing professional about this game, or any of them that you've seen. Although the 131 was nice, but we had to have the massive failure at the end. Stinko stunk for the pins on the strike. And now the mediocre game has become a better one. It also helped to wash my hands again. Two little stink of the bonus ball. Let's see if we can do another double strike. And remember where we are. That's a nine throw. People that don't suck don't do that. Nine. All right, two. Now we're on, almost on the opposite end of things. Two frames to get a hundred. Say 10 points in two frames. are definitely not professionals because they're not signaling. Common courtesy if they're not ready is to nod and let you go. And well we went from 70s to sucked, sucked. Other than that, not bad. Dollar four. They're not giving a crap. Maybe I should stop giving a crap about that. Hey! We want a free game! Ding, 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 ding. even says winner. For those of you wondering, we'll show it again. Every time a game ends, you get your menu, and then you get your random number, and if you match, you win. That's a free game. Oh, I think you can see what it says. One the lucky number. One free game. Well, hey, there's 
something that didn't happen. A craptacular 70s and a 100 with a matching number. Game number nine. people. There it is. Well, seven out of spread eagle. Down the toilet we go to another side. Would give it, would take it away. us. We got nine. Way too thin for it to have worked. Ten. Now I gotta wait for the animation thing to stop. A pair of sevens and a nine, eight, ten. Barely acceptable so far with 41. This time, the eagle has prey in its right talent. Dennis Nezzo says, aim for the lesser, because that pin in the back may help you get more. Or totally screw it up. Almost 
took it away again. Ten. Time to try the Emily. tens in a row. We got a microwave turkey dinner. Supposed to boo. At least that plank was there. Oh, there. And eight, four tens in a row. Alright, we need one lousy pin to barely make it acceptable. I wish it was ball two moment for ten. Those two frames sucked. No marks. Eighty nine. Those are decent. Be one of my highest scores without a mark. The highest I scored without a mark is ninety two. If I go to 54, which is my all-time low here, I will for game. Game 10.
Yet another I wish we could call two moment for ten. Probably tank again. single the bonus ball. Let's see what we get. Uh, El Stinko truly stinks for the lead. The seven feels okay. Nobody in that group gives a signal. So if I screw them up, they give a signal. That's what that The guy with the beard at least gives a signal that he's ready to go.
I did the stupid thing and went for broke instead of going for the easy two on the left. One point difference. Two frames to get nine. for minimal acceptance. One frame to go. to the test. suck bad again. To win another free game, I needed a 60. Bowlers don't do that. Kingpin for nine. Lousy six.
another way to prove that I suck. These people not signaling, screwing me up. A good bowler doesn't have that issue. First ball is proof that Putnam Street action is not always good. This thing moves. And that's a five. Once again, nine, eight, six, ten, five. Same crap as last time. the Putnam Street. That is the dumb luckiest strike you can get here. No other way to describe it is pure dumb luck. Hello Jesse. Time for El Stinko times two. And let's say I repeat myself, we double striked here multiple times. Seven more to hit middle of average. End the game with El Stinko. We have a 93. Seven will get us 100. No, we can move it a little more this way now. Granted, there's only one more game after this throw. And we got eight.
All right. That sucked, and that sucked. Other than that, pretty good. 101. All right, now, we know what happens here last game. We know what happens here last game. According to results I pulled up from MGM Springfield, by the way, we need a 73 to match. Two to one odds that this game will fail to meet the minimal acceptance of 80. Five to one that it'll be, you know, bottom of average. About 11 to two that it'll be in the 90s and about 64 to 1 that'll end in three weeks. Let's see how this final game goes. the bonus ball with the pro-life urethanes from Echo, the only thing professional you're seeing. El Stinko was weak with a four, but with that piece of wood in the middle, that could do some damage, even if I'm off. of the fill, seven. That eight thing was hiding on it. Oh boy. Wow, that was just barely behind the lob line.
seven. First ball knocking down on the four. Then a nine and a ten, we're at 48. So the three to one odds are looking like it is. Here comes a great collapse. That's a five. I'm also lost the slide ability. Crash and burn with a five. We need five. Might not happen. Two to one odds. Less than 80. Three to one. 80 or slightly more. So it's the three to one odds makers that are getting it. Best we can do is nine. And crash and burn. Eight is all we're getting. And barely acceptable. All right, sucked, 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 sucky fall. 83. Hey, we had a 131, but let's not forget the 74. Proves that I suck. And that'll be it if someone wants to play cooperate. Well, we'll let it live. Putnam Street Lanes. And yes, where did I put it? It fell.
Yep, I got one of them. Free game because we matched. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.